Okay, there are 16 must-know complex numbers that appear in pretty much every single examination uh, question on complex numbers uh, uh, for those entering university that I've ever seen. Um, and it's absolutely vital that, uh, that you know every single one of them backwards uh, and how to convert between the three forms, general, polar and uh, exponential. So let's get going. Now first of all, before we uh, start, just one reminder is that when we, are, um, uh, when we are calculating the argument of the polar and the exponential, we always measure in this direction from the real axis, positive from zero to pi, and in this direction here, negative from zero to minus pi. Okay, that's just one thing that's worth bearing in mind. Okay, so let's just start with the uh, with the first uh, with the first four completely basic numbers, and the most basic of the whole lot is the number one. Okay, so one um, clearly the the modulus of one, i.e., the distance, is one. The distance uh, and the angle between the number one and the real line is zero because it's on the real line. So if we wrote that in polar form, the uh, number one would be one cos of 0 and i sine of 0 and in exponential form that would be e to the i 0 and anything to the power of 0 is 1 which is clearly 1 so that's a, a quite an easy start off okay let's move around to the number i now the angle between the uh, real axis and i is pi over 2 and the distance of i to the origin is again clearly 1 so we would write that one in polar form as 1 cos of pi over 2 and i sine of pi over 2, which is e to the i pi over 2. So that's i. The third one, the number minus 1. And this one's quite interesting because uh, the, a very famous formula comes from it. But first of all, uh, if we go across uh, and we measure the argument from the positive real axis, we have to go all the way across here, pi. So, in polar form, this is 1 cos of pi and i sine of pi, and in exponential form, that is e to the i pi. So, incidentally, we know that e to the i pi is minus 1, and therefore, e to the i pi plus 1 equals 0, and that is a very famous formula, but not particularly relevant to uh, to this video. Okay, so the fourth one is, is minus i. Again, let's have a look uh, at the argument. And we have to go down this way, which remember is going to be negative by pi over 2. So therefore, minus i can be written as 1 cos of minus pi over 2 add i sine of minus pi over 2 or e to the minus i pi over 2. So they're the four basic ones. Okay, so let's um, let's move on to the uh, to the next four, which are uh, one plus i, one minus i, minus one minus i, and minus uh, and, and minus i minus one. And these four again, they appear in exams all the time. So let's have a look at one plus i. There's one plus i, and let's draw the triangle. Now clearly, this triangle is exactly the same as as this triangle here, which is a well-known right-angled triangle, whereby Pythagoras. If um, the two, uh, two uh, lengths of the isosceles triangle are both 1, then the hypotenuse is root 2, and the, uh, the two angles that aren't the right angle are both pi over 4. And so therefore, we know that the argument of 1 plus i, which is here, the argument of 1 plus pi is pi over 4, and the modulus is root 2, so 1 plus i can be written as root 2 cos pi over 4 and i sine pi over 4, which in exponential form is root 2 e to the i pi over 4. Dealing with the next one here, which is um, minus 1 add i. Well, clearly the, the triangle is going to be the same, um, except that it's going this way this time. And again, this angle here is going to be pi over 4. But we measure the angle from the positive real, and so therefore this angle will be 3 pi over 4. And so minus 1 minus i will be written as um, root 2. Again, the modulus is, is exactly the same. Cos of 3 pi over 4 add i sine of 3 pi over 4. And in exponential form, that is e, oh, sorry, root 2 e to the i 3 pi over 4. 
Let's have a look at minus one minus i. And again, you're going to see a pattern here because we're going to be using exactly the same triangle all the time. So we'll draw the triangle. Again, the modulus is going to be root two. And this angle here, again, is going to be pi over four. But we measure from the positive real, and this time it is going to be come along this way, which is going to be minus three pi over four. So the way we would write minus one minus i is root two cos of minus three, oh, three pi over four, add i sine three pi minus three pi over four, or in exponential form, that would be root two e to the minus three pi i over four. And finally, we have the fourth one, which is one minus i, which is here. Again, we will draw the triangle, exactly the same triangle. So we know the modulus is root two. This time the angle is, is pi over four. Again, but it will be negative because we're going in the, uh, the anti-clockwise negative direction. So we can write uh, one minus i, we can write that as root two cos of minus pi over four and i sine minus pi over four. And in exponential form, that would be root two e to the minus pi i over four. Okay, now just as a, as a matter of interest, we can uh, just note here that the conjugate um, of 1 plus i is 1 minus i. And if we look at the uh, polar form and the exponential form, we find that they're almost identical, except that the angle is the negative. And that will be true of all conjugates um, which are mirror in the real axis. Okay, so we, we're halfway through the, the 16 most common um, uh, complex numbers, and there's eight more which, are, which again, are, are very similar to each other in, in terms of symmetry and everything. Um, and they appear on, on, on examination papers left, right, and center. So let's get onto those. So this time we are gonna look at two, well, one more triangle, and we're just gonna rotate it. This triangle, again, a very well-known triangle where one side is root three, the other side is one, and uh, therefore the hypotenuse by Pythagoras is two. And it's well known that the angle is pi over six in this case, which means that the other angle is pi over three. Two, these triangles are basically identical. Well, they are identical, not basically identical. Um, and what they do is they give the eight other complex numbers which basically uh, appear in every single examination near enough. Now, the modulus of all of these complex numbers is gonna be two. It's simply the angle which is different. So let's start with one plus root three i, which is there, and we'll draw the triangle. So that triangle here is, is clearly the same as this triangle. And so therefore this angle is pi over three. And so therefore one plus root three i we can write that as two, which is the uh, uh, which is the modulus, cos of pi over three, and i sine of pi over three, or in exponential, two e to the i pi over three. That's one plus root three i. Okay, now um, I've actually got myself in a bit of a mess here, so let's just put it in a different colour. This is root three plus i. So let's just draw that one over here. So root three plus i, if we draw the triangle, again, it's exactly the same triangle, but uh, just rotated, and this angle here is now pi over six. So root three plus i will be written as two cos of pi over six and i sine pi over six, or in exponential form, two e to the i pi over six. Okay, so let's go to the uh, the third one, which is um, the third one, which is minus one add root three i, which is here. Now again, drawing the triangle is going to be um, it's going to be pretty clear now. There is a pattern. So there's the triangle. It's exactly the same. So we know that this is pi over three, and of course we know the modulus is uh, is two. And remembering that we measure the angle from the positive real, that angle will be 2 over 3, 2 pi over 3. And so therefore we can write minus 1 add root 3i as 2 cos, sorry, that's 2 pi over 3, that angle. So that's 2 pi over 3 
add i sine 2 pi over 3, or in exponential, 2 e to the i 2 pi over 3. That's the third one. The fourth one we have minus root 3 add i, which is here. And we draw the triangle again. So it is clear that this angle here will be pi over 6. So measuring from the other side will be 5 pi over 6. 5 pi over 6. And so this one we now know will be 2 cos of 5 pi over 6 add i sine 5 pi over 6. Or in exponential, e to the i 5 pi over 6. Now in actual fact, um, rather than bore you with drawing all the other triangles, the as we mentioned earlier, the conjugates are the exact same um, in polar and uh, exponential, except that the, the argument is flipped. So if we have here minus root 3 minus i, we know that just by looking at um, minus root 3 plus i, all we have to do is flip the sign. There's minus root 3. And so therefore minus root 3 minus i will be 2 cos of minus 5 pi over 6 plus i minus 5 pi, a uh, sine of minus 5 pi over 6, which in exponential would be 2e to the i minus 5 pi, to the minus 5 pi i, sorry, minus 5 pi i, let's just, uh, okay, minus 5 pi i over 6, and then the other three, will be uh, exactly the same except the mirrors so minus 1 minus root 3 i will be the mirror of minus 1 plus root 3 i just by flipping the argument here 1 minus root 3 i will be the mirror of 1 plus root 3 i so that will be 2 cos of minus pi over 3 plus i sine minus pi over 3 or 2e to the minus i pi over 3. And the final one is here, root 3 minus i, which is the conjugate of 2 of root 3 plus i. And so that one will be, just by looking, 2 cos of minus uh, pi over 6 and i sine pi over minus pi over 6, which equals, uh, in exponential form, 2 e to the minus i pi over 6. And there we have it. Those 16 will appear in um, pretty much every single um, uh, examination paper on complex numbers that you can find. I hope that was helpful.